The uh, article that you're about to read is about a Chinese lantern. Um, and I've had that Chinese lantern for years, I mean decades. Um, and it's one of my treasures. Um, and um, it, it, this just started a couple months ago. Um, these objects that I've had around the house for, for years have begun on a kind of a regular basis, once or twice a week, um, started to talk to me. Um, and um, You know that that sounds kind of strange to some people. They, you know, uh, they're not talking to you, but they are. And this Chinese lantern um, told me about its history that goes back a couple centuries. Um, <clears throat> and uh, <laughs> I, I was thinking. After I read this or read, wrote the article, I'm thinking, what was it? How was I going to preface it in the article or the uh, video? And I was all ready to do something. And today happened to be the day that Gigi, who uh, lives down in Buena Vista, uh, Georgia, had to come up to Chicago. She wasn't supposed to come up until around Christmas time, but her uh, son had to go to the University of Chicago for a medical checkup or something. And she came to my house. Um, I picked her up and drove her to my house, and we had um, <laughs> blueberry pie, which was her favorite pie and her son's favorite pie. Uh, but he wasn't able to attend, uh, but she was here. And I was telling her about what the Chinese lantern said to me and talked to me uh, about uh, for a couple of hours, a couple of days ago. So she wanted to see the lantern. And um, the guy that made this lantern a couple centuries ago, but was a guy by the name of Meng. And he prided himself in, um, in his artistic creativity and his, his design. And I am telling you the gospel truth. The first thing that Gigi said about the lantern was one of the things that Meng had designed the lantern to do. And it's a kind of a, it's not a square lantern, it's kind of a parallelogram lantern. And all four sides have different openings to let light out from the lantern. The first thing that Gigi said was, um, you know, all four of those sides of that lantern are designed differently and it's absolutely beautiful. And all I could think of was what the lantern is going to say to me sometime about, you know, that's exactly what the person who created the lantern was doing with all of his art forms being unique, not just being stamping out the same old thing one time after another. But this artist wanted to do things that were kind of a artistically creative. And uh, that when I, I gave let her hold the, the lantern, the first thing that she said, first thing, boy, look at that. All four sides are created differently. Um, I hope you enjoy uh, the article, um, and I hope that you you understand the uh, that things in our world uh, may not be as inanimate as you might think they are. They certainly can tell us a story about the past. And we can benefit from that story. Uh, I hope you can 
I hope you enjoy the story of the, uh, the Chinese lantern, but I hope that what I hope more than that is that you can understand how you can apply that to our world and benefit from that teaching experience. In the meantime, you take care.